Hi, this is Pam, and here I am with a Windows tip for you. Now, you probably have been using copy and paste for quite some time working on transcripts, I would guess. So for example, in Case Catalyst, we can copy something and paste it in again someplace else. For example, maybe I want to make sure I know the spelling of Kilmer, so I'll copy it. So we know when we copy, we can also paste. Control C is copy, Control V is paste. Nothing new so far, right? And I can copy from other locations, like a different transcript. Maybe I want to keep track of things that I'm copying. There's a clipboard. Catalyst has a clipboard, and Windows has a clipboard. So how does all this tie in? Well, first of all, Windows clipboard. If you've ever pressed Control C twice, that brings up your clipboard. Or it's found underneath the View menu, Panes, Clipboard. Right there. There we go. And if I ever want to paste something from the clipboard, I can just use a hotkey. First of all, let's take a look at Kilmer. Let's say I just want a job to find this. If I want to paste it in for my clipboard, it's number two on my clipboard. So all I'd have to do is press F11 and then choose number two. And then press Enter. I've got my entry done. The clipboard in Windows has up to 10 items that can be copied. You can even lock something so something doesn't drop off. All we'd have to do is just right click on it and choose lock. So this is how Catalyst's clipboard works. But you can take that elements of copy and paste and use it outside of Catalyst as well. So here's my Windows tip. In Windows 10, you can go to your settings. Quick way to get there is just holding down the Windows key and pressing the letter I. That would have been the same as me actually going to the gear, clicking on settings and getting here. Once I'm in here, if I go under System, you will see down below here is Clipboard. Now, if I didn't know it was under System, I could have searched for it as well. And that's on the first screen when you first come into your settings. You can start typing whatever you're looking for. So in this case, it's Clipboard Settings. And I'm going to go ahead and go to it. You can see I have mine turned on. I slid it on, and I've also turned on Sync Across Devices. So that way, if I copy something from one other computer, it's still available to me on my other computer. So here's an example of something I might copy through Windows. If I schedule a meeting, I'm probably going to want to copy my invitation. That way, I can put it into my email. Now, if I happen to use caseviewnet.com and provide real time to my attorneys, I might want to give them a link for that too. So I can click on browser link here and generate it. Now that also has been copied. In my email to the client, I want to take advantage of all the things I've copied. So copy is control C, paste is control, V is in Victor. But control V is in Victor, or right clicking and choosing paste, always paste the last thing in that I copied. In this case, it was my CaseViewNet browser link. If I, however, I'd like to see what's on my clipboard, hold down your Windows key and then press the letter V. And then it brings up all the items on your clipboard. Now I clicked that twice, which is why I got Wilkins in there twice, but I should have just clicked it once. Now I'll bring up my Windows clipboard again, and I'll paste in my browser link. Then I'll bring in my Zoom link. So using the clipboard either in Catalyst or outside of Catalyst can be quite handy. Also over here, you have three dots, and you can actually do things here too. You can delete things, pin them, in this case it's already pinned, or clear them. Pinning again is like the lock. All I have to do is click it and it will stay there. Because again, I'll have 10 items and they could drop off, but if there's some that I want to keep on there, I can pin them. Windows Clipboard is pretty handy. And again, all you have to do is turn it on in your system settings. There's lots of great useful tips in Windows, besides the basics. If you want to learn more about them, feel free to visit my website. I have a tab up here called News You Can Use. We all learn differently. Some like to read about things. Others like to watch it. And then we also like to do it. So speaking of doing, I have a webinar coming up in September. And it'll be a variety of tips in Windows, Zoom, and Case Catalyst. Let's take what we know and elevate it a bit further. I hope you can join me, but if not, it will be available on demand as well. 
All my live webinars are recorded and made available on demand, and you can find them here on my website, as you can see below here on this last one that I did. So thanks for watching and feel free to contact me either through email, phone call, or Facebook. And thanks again.